Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news that our Monster Hunter Rise adjacent, and that's the fact that the official Japanese Twitter account went ahead and revealed that there's going to be a couple of pop-up store lofts available in several different regions in Japan, where you usually are going to be able to pick up some really interesting and unique merchandise that is not necessarily available anywhere else. Now the reason why I'm specifically reporting on this is because they are going to be hosting a very limited time like website where you are going to be able to purchase some of these items directly from there. So of course everything is going to be available in the link description below so you guys can check it out and of course import it if you so desire because some of these items are definitely interesting. More importantly, a couple of weeks ago the official Japanese Monster Hunter Rise Twitter account and the North American Twitter account revealed that there's going to be some upcoming rocking dlc track basically that is like the remake of the abushi song or the theme and they're gonna remake it into like a rock themed version that's gonna be called breath of iron rock remix uh, this is gonna be said to be available in december presumably whenever we get that new december collaboration uh, this is going to be part of that DLC, most likely, you know, purchasable for an extra fee or something like that. I do know that they've sold like songs already as DLC for the game. So this is most likely something that you're going to be able to purchase. But interestingly enough, in the upcoming events that they're going to have in Japan, you're going to be able to purchase pretty much like the solo track, like presumably a disc or something like that and get that song already there for a small fee. So that's going to be available before it's actually going to be available in game. Now, as far as locations go, Fukuoka City, uh, Sendai City, Osaka and Tokyo and in, in, in Shibuya are pretty much some of the places that you're going to be expecting to see these places pop up. And if you've been watching the video, you're just seeing some of the goods that are going to be available there, like uh, many acrylical figures for the monsters, for different hunters, for the palicos. Uh, the Palamutes, for some of the Palamute ones, I don't even think I've ever seen those renderings before. Uh, so those might actually be new. Some tin badges featuring some of the villagers, uh, keychains, small smartphone stands, uh, interesting folding fans, acrylic dioramas would look pretty cool. Sadly, they don't light up. Otherwise, I would say those are probably a key feature one. Uh, some clear files, hand towels and stuff like that. And the, I guess the featured one here is the Ganshin book. Now, if you don't necessarily know what a Ganshin book is, it's uh, pretty much in Japanese culture. And if you've been playing Monster Hunter Rise, you should know that uh, Japanese people love to visit temples. This is kind of like a cultural thing that they do. And people usually collect stamps from the temples that they go to. They get a book stamped. Uh, and pretty much that's this Ganshin book. So they're featuring a, a version that's uh, showcasing, I believe, the art that you see in the loading screen in Monster Hunter Rise uh, in like a golden foil type of looking uh, way. And it looks really, really cool where people presumably in Japan are going to be able to take this to the shrines or whatever they go to and get a stamped uh, showcasing that they've been to that specific shrine. I think that's like a collector's type of thing that people do or like a you know religious thing. I'm not necessarily sure, but I've always found it interesting. And the book specifically, the way it looks, is just really cool. So that's definitely a nice collector's item. Uh, but I do think there's a link in the description below, of course, uh, where they're going to be posting a timed website where you're going to be able to purchase some of these items, or if not all of them, available in that specific website as well. And of course, I believe the single OST for that song that's going to be available as DLC in Monster Hunter Rise in December. Uh, we don't necessarily know why it's going to be in December and not as part of the November DLC batch, but you know, it is what it is. If you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.